on stream I speak English, but also Czech. Thank you for understanding during the video and enjoy it. Comment, like and subscribe is always welcome. It will help. Kind of their style of trying to take fight. There are three sheriffs yeah. on the pistol <laughs> round. For oh my Coke. god. It's Kesner, Shy, and Klaus who are just sending their sights straight down the mid. Look at these guys. Look at the pence. Uh, these players potentially out towards tiles. Can't even remove the pesky turret in the process. And G2 are straight in through. Onto the B site now. The closed shut case for them, really. Only have to clear out the back of the site. And now peace of mind granted to them. Be able to get that plant online. Crew would have liked to come away with a pick in the middle of this, but we're just going to get a 5v5 retake. Neither team having used Paranoia. So we've got Flash Recon combos. Klaus actually using it early there. Out of B main. It's only Melzer. He misses Ooh. the timing. Him versus Leaf with the B. timing is Trent. unlucky. You have to watch. Onto multiple positions here. Do they expect a second in B main? There was no swing. It's a Paranoia. Potentially coming from oh the side God. there, maybe. It you know, was team play. Yeah. Players, and unfortunate that it actually caught on to him. Trying to hold on to it, crew. Best chance they've had in a long while to try and do some work here, but they just cannot dislodge these backside players. Defuse, stuck, potentially half, and it turned all the way. Mm. That was unlucky. That was unlucky. The timing. Looked like G2 was somehow going to be able to recover. The timing. The team flash and the volley does flash so well. Oh, that's unlucky. It's seriously unlucky. This is unlucky. Yeah, it comes from side. That is unfortunate. Shrink going down there and the assist of his teammates. And like I was saying on Icebox, it felt like every 50 50 kind of situation was always going the way of G2. Every timing, every clutch, all of that kind of stuff. This time we see the timing not work out for Leaf. He gets caught in the back and there a bit of a slip up. That gives crew the pistol. The taste of their own medicine as well. Look at Kesnit. Deciding to opt into this outlaw by and takes down Leaf. Couldn't get more poetic. All the pressure being applied by G2 out through A main, but Mel's is sitting nice and pretty right now. He get his own other team. His teammates at his back and plenty of util as well to just push them away if G2 tried to get a bit more explosive on the back of it. They're gonna reclear towards Joe oh. P. They caught him. Oh my god, this timing, bro. As well. Come on. Crew looking aggressive in mid. He took getting timings. The pistol round, fighting mid with three players. Soon as barriers Absolutely timing two, dominated. Reclearing mid at what, like the minute mark, something like that? Yeah. They decide to re push out cat with two players while somebody swings from bottom mid. This is gonna start playing into G2's head. We need to be cautious about this kind of stuff. And the more that you condition your opponents that you could make moves like that, the slower G2 are going to have to play. And then you can just kind of sit back and win the mind games. What have crew got for us on the bonus here, though? Looks like the aggression's heavily over towards A. You don't normally see the sofa starting in this side of the map, too. One suppressed. Bot coming back. Zero points sent flying here, Lee. They've, to pull back the turret. They've just posted Kesnit up with the Killjoy turret in B main while everybody else leans mid and A. Yeah, pretty standard take here by G2, looking to see if they can split themselves into B and through. Damage nice. done. Icy just dropped down to 10, but he will survive and now trying to lead that charge. It's crew following up. All that damage is being done here. Swarming the available positions. G2. A lot of damage potentially there. Still. Backs turn to him, Icy, and Trent wow. clean up the yep. stragglers. shy has got too much to overcome here. Those are huge duels that happen over towards market. Icy's done such a great job in that round. That's true. Being able to bully his Icy way open it. and not go down to Kesnit and then also try to help Trent in mid. Really nice team play between the two of them and Trent even won his duel. Tarek Good out. stuff there to stop crew from running away with things in that bonus round. Just look at that. I mean, this guy, rookie player, a lot to prove, and he certainly did do so the other day. Now he's stepping up to the challenge that is Kesnit. Yeah, this is a tough jet head to head in this match. Very tough. He's getting active. That's a bit of early util. Now a storm, shock dart, it's all combined. This is so much important for you to win this round. Rush. Real late knife as well. All being layered together here with the drone. This has to be broken by at least one player only shown. So 
to leave. Good awareness on him. The only body spotted, and now they can see to again push up forwards. G2 able to walk into B main without too much difficulty here. Just a little bit of shot dart chip onto Lee. Ahead. The recon. I mean, up. it got a pulse, but didn't catch anybody. You know that Icy is around B main. And it's starting to feel like a B split, which is why crew have three players in here to defend. What does Valin want to go for? Do you commit? Do you back off? There's 45 seconds left. That's the trouble, right? They haven't really pulled any util out over towards the A side yeah. either. No. Nor any space. If they do choose the pivot, all eyes going to be on heat. This guy only looking in two directions, but this time setting it up through mid, breaking the alarm bot. Left. Spike is going to be going in a different direction through cat now. No noise being made, but updraft now and setting their sights towards it. There's the nade. It's good by heat. Seeking to the lane and just buy that bit of time. It was here, paranoia sweeping through. Cuts it up. Nice and, and easy now. And it's gone back and forth between them. Crew buying so much time for them. The options are running short and shy of the mark. Crew just need to try and delay and deny. And they do just start with a wall. Drop down in their face. It's no good. Not good. Every step of the way. Great work from Melza from Heat holding on once that play went through cap. But it was actually, it was all down to that recon dart. If they did, if they did break the recon and not give away the fact that Jet was playing in B main, they were about to go for the B pop there. The whole game plan from Valin was, we're going to slowly contact and take B main and then explode on the site. And when they gave it away, they were just worried that there were too many players for the defenders over in that direction. Small things forcing G2 to make a pivot and giving crew the lead right now. Come down to that one. On occasion, especially with these Ascend Mirror matches, the tiniest of oh, differences look at in the way the Utah's is used. This is this is going to be a fake B split here through market at the same time as everybody actually pats through B main, uh, through A main. Sorry. Trend goes down towards tiles. I don't think that's really going to disturb yeah, anything. I don't think it's really going to be finding anything out here. But I see. Steps up to the challenge. Takes it head on. It's going to be met though. He meets his match entirely there. Two players of crew seeking to clear him out. Now here comes the fast play. G2. Oh, spells it up. Oh my god. But just not in time. Leaf. He's barreling his way forwards. He has carved out a lovely position. And he is just it's... doing all the work in the world. 2v2 now. Spike was dropped down just into the outer sections here. Off to the side. Valen's got to at least seek to retrieve it. Crew also making moves of their own. They're doubled up. That one way is going to be difficult to get through. He does have a flash. Pop through it. Just disrespecting it. But he and the Good. wiser. It's all Good. collected yeah, by back. G2. Yeah, back in the door. had a player disadvantage by the time they hit A. But Melza just beefs his position. Yeah. After doing such a great job of shutting down the A split in round four, round five, he tries to teleport away and just gets stuck. Also, credit to Leaf, I think, as well. Only two kills in the map so far, but they were some of the most impactful ones. Yeah, absolutely. Enemy remaining. Overall, though, again, nice game plan from Valin. It's a disguised A hit through A main, where it, it's like a, a fake B mid, and then you end up committing fully through A main instead. Completely caught crew up guard, they only had one player defending. Bit of acknowledgement there from the knife, enough to just throw out the util. It's a drone with a player up next to it. All that space here, at least removing the turret. G2 stepped all the way back. Everyone on G2 grouping up to try to clear Shy out this position. They can hear all oh, of this. they can this. hit a jump spot for sure. The question is just how you want to punish it. It's with the dash, they failed the I dash. Mean, he's got no Ooh. exit strategy though. And is Shy going to be caught stuck into this corner? He needs to bail out and he needs it now. He's not going to be getting it. Any sort of support of Util, just a little bit too delayed there from Klaus. And G2 with another first pick advantage, even a TP from Melzer. Do? Just reinforcing the B side, expecting like it's going to be the re-hit. But again, another pause in the action that's going to be called here. The thing is, I, I think they're going to be right. This almost has to be a re-hit from G2 because they have nobody giving them info on the opposite side of the map. So th they are going to commit here into three crew players. And despite being in a 4v5, crew have great chances of winning. It's crossfire. Straight for the choke. I'm for once now, at least. Hunter's Fury, no command. It's all going to be combined and collected with the kills here. Joe and a P and G2, the squad. Just dominate a position. They are just running them down. 20 seconds to spare with a spike going down. Just like on iVox. Plenty of time. Nothing else. The only advantage left to heat here is that the post plan positioning, he doesn't have to worry about main. Trying to seek a timing against the drone. Just spotted out. And the bullets are going to start raining it down onto him. 
There is no easy position to play here for Heat, and he's starting to realize it. Even Recognition. If he, even if he gets past Valin and Jonah P, Trent's just going to checkmate him with an Odin in backside. Absolutely. And he knows it, so he's going to be playing for the exits here. There's only $200 to his name. Keep the rifle, maybe keep your life, maybe do some economical damage, but... And I love the decision from G2. They realized that they got themselves in a spot where they had a player advantage, but it was still going to be tough. They and they decided to rip alts to close things out. Yeah. Send the Null Command, send the Hunter's Fury, make sure that you commit there. Crew only had their weapons to try to stop that play from happening, and the triangle crossfire just didn't end up quite being enough. Look at how good the Odin is here, by the way. And crew not buying it on defense, not putting pressure B main by using the Odin there. They they need that. You have to be buying that, in my opinion, as Klaus here. So you see him not really investing in this round. He's got like 2850 in the bank. I think that's because he, he needs to be buying the Odin. The G2 are just getting B main control way too easily. Yeah. It's a lot of high pen weaponry being bought by crew. Maybe seeking a counter spam. It's available for them, but it's a dark flash to clear through for G2 again. That's a nice main control. Are you looking to refight this? Because it's close. I mean, that that is going to literally get Ooh. football play. Oh, two? Yeah, How did the other dodge the hell happen there? But it just ran tucked in the corner. Out of range of it, I suppose. Yeah. I think it didn't quite clear the very corner of the cubby. It did. These protocols in play. G2 making sure always one player is in an anti flash position here. But Kesnit. There's an off angle posted. Melz is going to be that next wave of things. Bucky in work and play, but he is cleaned up again. At the end of the day, now the drone sent flying forwards inside the smokes. Heat seeking a time and past it. G2 is so damn disciplined when all of this is occurring. And yet, that reflank of Leaf surely is going to be sealing it here out wide into the heaven. Fight. And eventually, the body's topple. G2. Choosing to play patiently just at the right moments there, making sure the crew they just pushed it. Just enough for them to take the round win. Doesn't give a fuck. Bears mentioning that this is a defense sided map almost all of the time. And aside from the pistol and the follow up, it's just been a singular round from crew. G2 have otherwise been running away with things. Their coordination, their calling, all looks oh, super. Oh, yeah, online. They still don't have an Odin out on the defense side for crew. So G2 are going to be able to get B main again so much more easily as long as they can navigate past this operator. It's Klaus who was saving up all the money just to buy the op for Kesnit. Putting priority into this weapon, seeing if it will make the difference. You know, Brendan, coming into the day yesterday in Americas, there was a single player in EMEA who'd bought the Odin more than everybody in Americas. <laughs> I mean, it just goes to show the differences, <laughs> I think, in all the regions here, Kesnit. I mean, he's Boom. easily dealt with. Swept away in but a moment lockdown. No, no opportunity to contest no. this. Not at all. No way. Who's just stick around for but a moment here? The uptrap dash play over into the top. I see. Still worried about a backside play here. Shy. He's full sprinting. Just trying to get into these open access. That's crazy. I, th I think crew thought that was a fake. There was a couple of players, Melzer and Heat, they started checking over towards like tree and grass, wondering if G2 were heading in the other direction. Chaos in the camp of crew. Just wondering how they can really bail themselves out now of this spot. It comes down to sheer mechanical ability. You've got to get the kills Ooh. and clean them when you can. But again, it's a 1v3 and if Leaf's hitting stuff like that... Absolutely disrespect. Absolutely disrespect. This does not look like the crew that we've been watching so far in stage one. And I think G2 have just baffled them. Yeah. So many of these rounds, there's an additional layer. Something is disguised. There's a set play to get rid of the operator. There's a fake being caught by Valen or perfection with the ultimates. There's there's so much stuff that crew are getting bamboozled by. Yeah. The things are the fundamental I mean, stuff is falling to pieces. We use the term masterclass quite a lot, but for Valen, I think, and the G2 team as well, credit to the coaching staff. Revealing it. They've done such key preparation and calling as well. It is throwing crew for a loop. Only the mechanics can save them. Yeah, this is kind of what G2 did when they were playing in Ascension. They weren't necessarily the dominant best team all year long, but when it came to the tournament that mattered, of which this is the tournament that matters for getting you to Shanghai, they were there, they were prepped, they were ready. And leave this guy! Oh! Yes, it's against the Little tricker. But he's ripping them to pieces, crew. No chance, no chance, man. Yeah, and Klaus offered an opportunity and just couldn't respond. Hello. 
That was nice shot actually. But there's cover and fire from Trent. Surely not. Oh, thrown out and he opened. I mean, the bullets just exited him out of that one. Caught them both. Yeah. Almost bringing them down. Fractional HP here for Kesnet and Klaus. Essentially a single shot will do it. One enemy remaining. Right through the walls. All it takes there from IC. Dropping his adversary. Klaus again. It's an impossibility, surely. And look at the protocols in play. G2. There are so many layers to everything they're doing right now. And at the beginning of this, I kind of alluded to it. You know, Valen has had many tests in his career. As you know, the core member, the IGL of this team. You think back to Reykjavik qualifying for that event back in 2022. 700 yeah, just getting ground down. Five days ago. Absolutely. This has being at that tier one international level. And even Ascension as well. This is arguably one of the biggest this tests that they've insane. had since. The match to qualify them for Shanghai to prove that it was all worth it. A reminder that this team, the core of this squad, they could have accepted more tier one offers in the first year of partnerships. And they decided, not to. They decided to stick around together yeah. up, buddy? through tier two. Because they were confident that as long as they stuck together, they would have a chance of being able to win Ascension. They would be able to get to this top level event. And then they'd be able to perform. Well, they're here now, representing G2. And they're turning up in stage one playoffs. The mid-season playoffs here. They, they barely squeaked in. Yeah. It was round differential that put them over the line to even get into this point. To continue an opportunity to qualify for Shanghai. And now that the pressure's on, they are blossoming. He will go to the Shanghai. Great here in this match. Seems like that. Obvious. Making sure not to fumble this opportunity. They do make it crew as fuck. Odin's on both sides. Klaus finally picks one up to try to lock off B main, an area that G2 have been taking far too easily. The Utah will already be setting up. Lying and wait. Yeah, and they've actually swapped Shy's setup over towards A as well. So this setup looks to isolate Icy. Paranoia knife will be used to command the position out towards A main. It looks like they want to fight Leaf. Might be able to catch him and squeeze him here, but calling the pressure now. This is no command that's going to be going out. No, and they just want to stop them. They, I mean, yeah, they call, the, they call, they cancel the hits out towards mid. Yeah, I mean, they were looking to try to push down mid and put pressure on the leaf, flush out the lurker, and now instead, they're going to try to commit to the retake, but they've always got to be worried about this sneaky player behind. That's the thing. What is going to be utilized here? It's a different position for the lockdown. Yeah, Lower down, oh. so it's actually, yeah. Now you're going to be missing. G2 have to respect the positionings here. I see overstaying it. Look at the Hunter's Fury combination. And it's fish in a barrel, man. Close. Okay. Easy access. Sick. All the damage done. Everybody cleaned up and collected. Sick of the take. Took everything for crew to win that. The Hunter's Fury and that lockdown just was round, using both of those ults, both no way to outplay. Fantastic adjustment from Shy as well, anticipating that there's nothing to do. Through. Almost every team has some kind of fragment grenade set up to try to break lockdowns on a range of different maps. And teams are starting to get aware of that. Look at these four trapped in the corner, desperately dancing a jig to try to recover. But all right, that's still only four for crew. The best case scenario is a tied up half. And they've gone back to their. More standard setup with Kesnit over on A. Knife gets thrown cross map over towards B main. Looking for info in that area. They know that G2 have been prioritizing B main quite a lot. And again, all five players on G2 grouped up towards tiles. Is this actually going to end in a B split? Or is this designed to try to drag people away? Drone for a drone. Straight down mid. Not quite broken. Leaf taking a peek. That was an attempt of a punish there as Shy was removing the turret. Flash through into the corner now. Updraft peek and Icy. Still got the dash available. He's going to now use it. Cutting up the corners. Still a dart not dealt with. And it's spam from the back of the side. Klaus. It's definitely softened them all up here. But G2, they cause and call an actual excellent pause. They're finally and using. Gonna be really making crews too. Look at these guys. They're all yeah. out angering these positions. Kesnet. He's wrapping his way around. Leaf. He's a soul player left standing onto this site. Back of his head wide open for the taking. So Kesnet, with him dropped, 
They realize it now, they've been played like a fiddle. G2, easy access now to the A site. So a 4v3, but you're always worried that one of these G2 players is still hanging around somewhere. You can take a look at the scoreboard, realize the Sova got the plan. So you're not worried about Trent, but where are Valin? Where is Jonah P? Well, there you know the knife. Now where's Valin? And the footsteps, they're just giving the perfect timing. Oh my God. And Jonah P. Good job, good job. They combined it all. All Insane timing. Instincts. And look at the damage being done, man. No easy fight for them, crew. It's the best chance they've had yet. Doubled up, facing it together, overcoming the nice adversity. Try. That is really nice. Nice try. Done. Like I said, that internal tracker inside their heads. They recognize the Silver got the plan. He's got to be on site. They see where the knife came from. And then Kesnit is hyper aware that Valen is going to be playing in some in weird half. spot. Collects that kill. Super important impact kill over towards Catwalk. And that allows them to focus back in on breaking that crossfire. I know the Odin is in line. Excellent teamwork. This round, they pushed two players out of cat as soon as the B main hit came through. So they always had that retake happening. Kesnit having huge impact in the round. Back up to the top of the scoreboard for crew. Can they tie this one up 6-6 and give themselves chances in the match still? It's a series on the line here for crew. Pressure is mounting. Finally, spam from the Odin Klaus. He's trying to condition and fight over that B main angle. Is coming Ooh. Spam Trent, almost punishing. Lockdown. Klaus nearly Strong dead. Down. There will be nothing to remove this one, at least. The crew, they've got to step back and respect these boundaries. But again, it's an open spam sideline that they can't afford to take. Now, Swarm's almost bringing them down. It's still doing the damage. Flooding right back at them. Crew. Don't want to give up that space so easily. But now in a Hunter's Fury, this is straight from Bodehouse and has cleaved them in twain. They cannot stand their ground. And in the middle of all of it, Gold. crew, they stand a chance here. 1v3. <laughs> Trent is praying, hoping. Paper thin wars on ascending. You really do find yourself in, but surely with the damage done, yes. Dropped to the floor, six to six. Hard earned for crew, but eventually Switching even up. Sides. We're starting to see them get back online there. The aggression, the flood defense, putting pressure. The spam was all connecting as well. It looks more like the crew that we've been seeing so far throughout stage one. But this was not a good defense half. You're expecting more than six. G2 is still set up with a fantastic opportunity to close this out in the next half. Six six. Definitely good. Let's send it down to the analyst desk. It's good for you to do actually. Scenery here, heading into the next half. I don't know. Changing scenery. I just decided to hang out with the people. Yeah. <laughs> Love to see it. All right. We decided to mix things up a little bit. And what was funny was that we brought Baby Bay out here because we wanted to relish in his shame. Instead, now it's six six. So Baby Bay actually might be cold. right. This absolutely extra. To swap him out for Wyatt when it yeah. doesn't like need to be there at all. Like that. And then of course they came back. So what do we know? We're the idiots trying to make fun of him. Yeah. I, 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 even I thought it was over. I, I, I was gonna hide in shame. I was gonna be like, yo, I should have well, The crew crew ain't gonna let you handle with that one. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah, yeah. We, we, we need more hype from the crew crew actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's go ahead and dive into what happened in this half here because you know it goes without saying g2 looked fantastic out of the break but then yo. crew found a second gear yo the game planning from g2 has been insane so far in this series and crew honestly brought it back off of kind of heroics in my opinion i feel like Balan yeah. has been calling a superb game so far yeah Balan has been exceptional jonah p continues to light it up in ways that we're almost like perpetually surprised about but he just continues yeah. to do it so he's been exceptional i think there were a lot of heroics at the end from the likes of Kesnet that kept things competitive but I think the second half decides everything. Given that they're standard comps, I tend to lean towards the defense. Yeah, so are you feeling the same way as well? You think G2 did enough to be able to pick up this win, or do you think Crew is going to walk away with the dub? Crew got this map for sure. We're going map three Lotus, baby. You think he's right? We're going map three Lotus? No? No? We got, we got a lot of dissenting opinions over here, but I think one thing's for certain, we got to do this more often. So in any case, let's go ahead and send it back to Bra uh, Brandon and Josh so they could do their job. <laughs> I mean, that's incredible. Cheers and cheers across the board there towards the end. And yeah, I mean, it stands on the brink, doesn't it? This pistol round going to be defining so much heading into the second half of Ascent. Will we get that third map and extension into the series? Or will we be just sending G2, the first international event they've been to in quite some time, at least at the tier one level.
G2 will have picked this map, I think, remembering how rough Cruz attack side was against Leviathan. But I actually loved some of the ideas that they were going for. Pistol around strats, the rifle around strats. But crew love taking mid control and G2 recognizing that. I've got four players here ready to fight. fight them and Ooh. And it's a clash. And the outcome of this one could decide so damn much. Stalemate called, but maybe calling for a refight. Now it looks like they were posturing up towards. I like this pivot. I mean, yeah. look, they found the gap in what's happening with the defense. And open access to the A side door. Close down in their faces. For a moment there, looking like Melzer wanted three. to take them in advanced position, but he's trying to hold the paranoia for paranoia. Leaf is on. I mean, he's putting in the, the steps. <laughs> I mean, what a hell of a marathon sprint. This is going to take the time down just a little, you know. This is like 10 seconds bef uh, of wasted time to some degree. It's going to be met anyway by the alarm bot. So now, position noted. He's got to make this kind of flank play work. With the door closed up, Paranoia sweeps its way through, but it's being met again. Matched in kind, Melza from that lower position. Leaf now has to get a bit of a move on here, but crew surely set up for it. Didn't get out the smoke with the turret. Single point of damage will do it, Shy. He's fallen all the way through, leaping. Into the site, time is running against him. No. Bowen, there's no more chances, and that has been for crew. And with that, pistol, pistol rounds are better. They are good in pistol rounds. There with the retake, trying to make the flank work when they just didn't have the time to go for it, and they didn't break the door either while they were waiting for Leaf to go around. So, crew given a lifeline, they needed that pistol. You're so favored on the defense side of ascent. G2 at 6-6 six, six, with a team in control and now with crews starting to build up some momentum on their attack side expected to win the follow-up as well this is definitely going to be more of a contest come on G2 let's go IC get some nice booms with fucking Sheriff so crew granted that go for it ever so slight lifeline gonna keep the momentum moving though here if they do want to bring it to that map 3 that means no afforded slip ups. The turret's gonna be taken care of there. He met with the knife. Man, one of the, one of the things I'm noticing so much in this match is that G2 are so happy to gamble on their defense side in some of these rounds. Remember back to Icebox where they were doing those four player stacks on A? Here they stack players over towards B. Now they're making the read that, of course, crew would not want to go into the Sound stack. Big. Oh, I'm by crew. Which direction do they want to go into? They're just trying Ooh. to play with the gamble of G2. Leave with Sheriff. Oh, for them to end a here Let's go. Leaves Get two. All alone. You got two. Go for it. Oh, no. Against that kind of weaponry. First shot, this was important for it. And just to talk about the kind of things that might be running through Valentine's head. When we've seen crew play before, they love taking fast mid control. They'll book it down mid and be through count on an A split or through on a B split in the first 15 seconds of the round. Oh. So the G2 want to deal with that kind of stuff. Are they going to go for mid crunches? Are they going to try to dominate A main and B main control? Plenty of options of what they could do. I mean, it's so far endless. The G2's had a really good game plan. Yeah, they certainly have. I see Valen and Trent are just looking to try to die the spike. I mean, crew this entire time, the proactivity was off the charts in terms of how they were clearing. They really want to build up to these ultimates. They understand how key it is. Making sure that G2 don't just give away their lives to the spike. Denying the chances to build up those ults in the attack side for crew. Yeah, and it's, it's a pretty clean anti-eco there. They only lose one of the rifles that they were buying in. And with Kesney being fairly close to a blade storm, they can afford to... It was unfortunate that he didn't hit the first shot. Believe it, it it should be winnable for them. To be prepared for a level of aggression from crew. <clears throat> Very standard setup for them on defense. Trent getting the Odin online super early on. Dash even activated. Crew. They look like they want to send it forward here because isn't it. We push back. They're going to be hearing that sound cue along yeah, with that spam. This feels like a B hit, but you've actually got two players on catwalk very early in the round as well. So there was never any chance that that was just going to be a full B pop. I see ADS done. No. It's unusual to really be winning that Unlucky one. Unlucky Bulldog in his hands. Normally going to be not favored. 
Leaf. He's got walkabouts now, and he is going to be spotted. Very Lock nice. Two for two. Crew are going to be lucky that they didn't end up dropping three players in the approach. Now, again, indecisive, but making all the noise into the world. Don't know if it's going to be heard by Valen, who is tucked into that wine position. But the rumble steadily moves towards Tree Airy, even a paranoia sweeping up. That caught no away. Did catch him. But it's already going to be called. I think they know that they're going towards the A side here. But main control for Valen. Very, very affordable here for G2. They can take their time now, doubled up. Just trying to put the pressure onto them. Attack, they see Valen. They get off the plant. Be denying that, that space around with a paranoia forwards. At least with the smoke. Dropped into their face. Counter spam. Dropping them down. Jonah Play! Ooh. Oh my god, man! Could have just stolen a few more kills there, but Shy stands his ground and stands tall against it. It's up to Kesner now. Attack. Only 13 seconds remaining. Valen. 10 seconds left. Just hunting for a chance. It's a double face. 3 2 1. Okay. Snappy. From the IGL, Valen, a bullet's left. Oh my God! Good retake. What a one v two! Good retake. Unbelievable performance. Valen just Valen. nailed it. It is time. In wine. But it's a very dangerous and deadly bonus round from Crew. I think they'll still be happy with that one. Taking every weapon apart from one out of the hands of G2 and forcing armor rebuy on top. Despite Valen's heroics, they're going to be feeling the effects of that in the next round. It gets a seventh on the board and starts them clawing up. But look at what it's done to the economy. Ares, double bulldog guardian. This is... Yeah. G2 just won the round, but they're the forced onto a very odd buy. I think they were even thinking about going for the half buy, but they forced into it. This is the this is the point at which crew could run away with things actually. If they get an ult orb and get Shy's ult online and you know snowball things forward and knock G2's economy, this is their chance, crew. Meister takes the contact there, the drone. Used in kind at least to try and clear out through the A main angle. Didn't stretch deep enough to at least clear through wind. And now crew are calling what they really want to do here. I mean. Looks like there was a little bit of hesitancy. They backed away, maybe anticipating that Jonah P would throw the knife, but now holding it, now throwing it. Clearing line where Valen was hiding in a prior round. Yeah, it's just a delayed knife. G2, gonna have that level of awareness. This has knocked a lot of time off the clock, I think, for crew. Yeah, but look at how passive these positions are for the G2 players. They don't really have any control towards mid or cap. Giving crew tons of space, it's just the time that's the problem. Hot flash. Rebounds here. Cut to the corner. This is icy. It's time to see if he can chop. Oh, oh half, but he's team blinded. Ooh. Flashed in the moment. It's supported you, something just goes wrong. Fallen! Nice. Very good hold. Good job, good job. I sound lucky to have team flash, but. Two, eight. That was Crew's chance. That was Crew's golden ticket to starting a snowball that would have seen them potentially win a cent and take us to a third map. And they've squandered it. They could have played it more standardly. They could have tried to fight for map control at the start of the rounds a little more. And instead went into an ace play. Oh, even gifted with a team flash on Icy. Yeah. But couldn't convert. And now they're the team with the economy knocked. And they're the team that needs the miracle, the magic out of Kesnin. Turn right around, Crew. Straight up the gut, in through mid, alarm pot. Kesnik, his attention's not even directed towards this util. Dash is there, spots one up, trap. Dash, trying to hunt him out. Missed it, can't get it. And so the Angrin players leave. He's going to so damn well. Shots go wide and wild. That it is. Still blinded up, that supportive util is just pure excellency. Wow, good hold. The util was both insane. Getting the flash, getting the fragment grenade kill as well. Phenomenal, making up for that team flash under IC in the previous oh, yeah. round, for sure. He's got 15 assists. He moved back now, I mean, from, I the, the from the team flash. You do kind of farm, he moved back. But looking at the opposite side, he's on seven. I mean, Jonah is really playing that supportive element. Making that a focus on dealing with crew. Could not root out Leaf. Yeah, and that's... Kesnit had an opportunity. He had a moment where you would expect him, usually, to be able to get that kill. And it just slipped away. Massive ults for crew now. So G2 are going to try to disrupt the set play we saw them go for previously. 
One out of the Sentinel's playbook. Really quite interesting. It's a double face. Leaf. Couple of pot shots. They do want to try and explode into this one. Yes, they do. At least with Kesnet sent flying and forwards. Is it? It's the Molly and they drop down. Struggling crew to try and get themselves and their players back into this one. Melzer. At least we'll relieve that pressure. But they haven't dealt with Leaf. This oh my god. Doesn't matter. On a perch in this position, you just can't move the B site. And he it's makes it so up. damn hard. And he can't do Oh my god. It. It's 10-8. This lead that G2 are accruing now. Steadily growing out of control. Levy is going insane. Where okay. was the alt investment there from crew? They had massive alts to be able to play around. Didn't use them on an eco swing situation and just kind of sent it in instead to their demise. You're right to highlight Leaf. He just got free with 33 HP. Off the back of a pop flash from Jonah P. Everyone is feeling that coordination and it feels like crew. What we've seen from them throughout stage one is that they're able to make decisions really quickly. We see the aggression from them. They swing through smokes to trade each other, to support each other. And today, they look like the slower paced team. They look like the team with hesitation and caution. They gotta find that fire. To be honest, it might already be too late. G2 poised to get up to 11 here state of the economy that they're in i mean the only advantage the crew have has to be those ultimates but you don't want to expend them not necessarily in a round like this not unless Placing you have a good chance grenade. to win all right so a break on the alarm box throughout mid and it a lot of noise in. A lot of noise given i see the nice. perfect kill kiss it what are you doing son trying to defend this one but dominating the smoke double duck one side by, one. by side t2 in complete control of this one Nothing gets by them, especially when Leaf is on the prowl, on the hunt. Spike planted. Planting for the money One there as Klaus blinded up. It's just got to think about the next round coming up. No chances in this Let's go, G2. Let's go. Away. G2 are running away with things. Crew are going to have one last hurrah. You win this. With massive ultimates to try to turn this. But they only have one chance left, really. If they don't convert this... There is no hope left. And Brent, what I'm seeing in these kind of moments are hero plays from crew. Yeah. I'm not seeing them I mean, time things so that they double swing into a smoke. I'm not seeing them try to play tight with each other. I'm seeing more of what we saw when Lev put the pressure on crew. And it was, you know, Kesnik running forwards and trying to find the overheat timings to be able to win the round on his own. And they're, they're not finding it. There's no individual that's going above and beyond for crew. And... All of the good team play element stuff has yeah. kind of withered away too. It's the wrong opponent if you're going to be relying on... The fact is that G2 doesn't hard. even uh, use the timeout. Shut down Cloud9. <clears throat> easily as you go, to be honest. Just, I'm Actually. Really understand the way that they wanted to they play. didn't even they use the timeout. At all. In real discipline scenarios, high-low setups, always two versus one most of the time. And they're doing it here again. Well, Icebox yeah. didn't use that. I mean, to bring things there, back to didn't use that. up in the G2 C9 game before. Oxy was getting 48% of Cloud9's first duels, uh, first kills, sorry. Kesnit gets 41% of Crew's opening fights. He wins them. And they held him to only one first blood on Icebox. Yeah. And I, I don't feel like even with him getting 15 here, there hasn't been that much more success here. It's not like he's ripping open rounds. G2 have been playing in such a nice disciplined manner to shut down that level of individualism. And the two opponents they've gone up against are the big early the round thing. heroes. Placing swamp. G2 have had an up and down stage one. It's a similar play they did it before. Yeah, same Tower's set aggression. Point. Spam from the Odin. Give it a DTP of Valen, but he will respect that space and just give it up now. And it's a bit of a read and Last chance, bro. By him. Last chance. Deep B main position from Icy. Yeah, Icy's not heard anything. So. Oh, G2 ended up coming back to Here in a push There's a dash just Ooh. getting out of there. He's got to get punished for that. Yeah, no kill inside. Kes this forward still nice. really cut up from the rest of his team. Cool. Defensive rotations abound. Lockdown committed. Hunter's Fury. It's all going to be expended here for a win for crew. It all hangs in the balance. Updraft, whacking the head. Icy just doesn't get the height he was looking for. Can't punish the exits. But Melzer's onto the side now. The plan coming through, and it's a call by G2 to go fast and lose straight into a shine. An attempt and a chance. G2! Hey. Shut it down entirely. Melzer. Shadows. The 1v2. 
Lockdown committed. Paranoia up close now. Swing in wide. Leave intelligence off the bloody charts there. Last chance. Just hold it G2 for get it. The Melzer has to push. G2 them. get it. And Melzer there is no way. There is no way they will get it. As well. it's not like the Paranoia even did anything. Yeah. G2 is going to the shot guy. That's my prediction. G2 get up to match point. Simply one more round. And they will have... Dare I say it strolled to Shanghai. It feels like this match has been far easier for them than anybody would have predicted. The level of preparation and the work that they put in, justifying all of the difficulties that they've gone through over the last few years of grinding that through tier two, looking to make another appearance at a Masters event. They are one round away. And this is validation for them. As we've been mentioning, as we've been setting Absolutely a chance, bro. To be apart, I mean, they will have uh, the one chance. Players finding their spots into tier or now. One they lose to get to the shot guy, but uh, last chance in this tier in one match. International event. The money stretched thin here for crew. Still with some rifles, still with some fight left into them. Alts offloaded off of what kind of contact? I'm not even too off sure. The turret contact. They broke turret. They've got a setup between Valin and Leaf here, but Crew dodged it. One singular tag and a pause being called into this one. Maybe G2 might just seek to overextend themselves, re-clear into mid. Patience is insane. Very slow pace by Crew, trying to bait out some kind of info peak from G2. But they have info everywhere. You need to push Jonah P off the B main angle to cause some kind of loss of info. Kesson tries to swing this one. Surely his back's open. It's a paranoia right through them and Leaf. Oh my, yeah, it's gone. It's perfection at play. G2 is going to the Shanghai, boys. A ticket inside around the world. They go yep. straight to Shanghai. G2 is going to the Shanghai, boys. GG is well played. Stunning performance from G2. Dismantling one of our best performers that we've had here across stage one. And Kesner is left in shock. Disbelief written on his face. GG. How did that crumble? They just dominated. I was expecting to be the favorites in this Thank game. Thank you for the stream.